look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Alrighty, so hey guys, it's me, Live Simmer, and welcome back to episode four, part one of The Wolf Among Us. Um, what? Around. Oh, so that axe was hers. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? Oh, my goodness. He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Mm. Oh my god! I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. Oh. What happened to me? There was. You got lucky and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. The arm. Oh, the arm's gonna make me sick. Oh my god! Move it, doctor. Oh my god. Look, oh my god. Saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much. Oh, don't make me do it, Telltale. Oh, oh. I have broken both of my arms and I literally have the biggest For heaven's sake. Oh god. No, no. Oh. Well, that wasn't so difficult, was it? I I couldn't do it. I'm so sorry. I could not do it. I just it would make me sick. Be oh. This way I won't have to reset it later. Oh. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. <sighs> Made me so sick to my stomach. Maybe he listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. It's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <sighs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with it. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. <laughs> It'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. <laughs> it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. I once Colin, watched turtles. I'm not even supposed to be here right now. Crying. Oh really? Where am I supposed to be? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there, all done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, 
And the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Pooh. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. I'm right here, guys. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, he hates being babied. They say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Colin. <laughs> he calls him swiney. You're the swine, Colin. Well, Bloody Mary definitely messed us up. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not <laughs> You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. <laughs> it, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Oh, she actually cares. I've seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived. Snow, I'd never leave you. <laughs> yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. <laughs> what do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. Yeah. About that. Giving up Crane to save my skin really made us look weak. That made us look weak? Oh, but not Mary shooting you and holding an axe to your big head. Look, <laughs> I'm not saying it was a good day. Just that we could have done without all the uh, bargaining at the end. The crooked man's gonna think- I don't care what he thinks. It was the only option. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? Seriously. Just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. Hmm. It's kind of hard so, with all this craziness. Now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book. Straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment... Well, what else were we gonna we do, Snow? Attack, Snow? 
What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Colin, I care about how got my back. Snow. You want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> Hold on. Who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just okay. That now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. What the fuck? And this situation has to end. What situation? He gives you All respect. Fables starting I do. Have to go and stay. <gasps> oh, give me a fucking break. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now. What's it going to be, Bigby? What am I about to have to make a choice on? <laughs> Because Colin's got my back right now, and Snow's what being a little That's rude. bitch. Buffkin, what is it? Buffkin! Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Uh-oh. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? <laughs> yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. <laughs> Colin! She She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Buffkin's so cute. He reminds me of, like, an innocent little puppy. He's really dumb. Change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, Colin. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? No. I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. <laughs> Colin, you're like my, like the dog of the house. You kind of like protect it while we're not there. So I definitely like Colin being there. But let's see what Narissa has to say. I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm kind of stumped. I don't know what's going on at this point in time. And the intro begins. Telltale Game presents Bigby Walking Under a Bridge. I really do love this game though. It's um when I first saw it, I, I didn't think it was going to be nearly as good as The Walking Dead, but I really feel like The Wolf Among Us is a really good game. Love the mystery, love the characters, so A plus. If I do say so myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm still completely confused on who, who the bad criminal, like the head honcho is. I don't even know. Episode four in sheep's clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Big B's office. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. She's a cute little thing. <laughs> I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Puff and puffs. <laughs> How many people smoke those? Th 
thanks. So <laughs> what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. Then why are you here? Well, that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Huh. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent mm -hmm. me the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Mm -hmm. There's someone else you wanted me to find there. These lips are sealed. Narissa. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. Oh. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. What the? I to do this. I need you to know. I want to help, but. But. But your lips are sealed. Hmm. Narissa, there has to be a way around it. I'm. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Oh. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? It's the ribbon. You mind if I just No, these lips are sealed. What's what? going on, Narissa? Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Narissa. Please. Don't. Okay. Oh my gosh, do they traumatize those girls so, so much? Ribbons. If you take them off. I don't know how, but I'm going They to literally this. traumatize those if girls. You can just point me in the right direction. I swear I will fix this. <laughs> if anyone finds out I came here That's probably snow Hopefully it's snow Listen, Sheriff Can you keep this conversation between Of course Hornerasa a lot of trouble I won't tell anyone don't worry Thank you No, don't even get. Don't even start. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. 
You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your Oh, time. Wait, that was the hint. To go. So Beauty and the Beast is definitely a lead. That was abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay, then. Good work. <laughs> so, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Like what? Like effing what, Snow? Beauty and Beast Apartments, the Woodland Building, noon. So clearly, oh. Hello. Oh. What do you want? B, shut well, the fuck up. You're just going around knocking on doors. I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No, that was... forget it. What do you want, Big B? I want some answers. I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Big B. Yet okay. All the sneaking around and secrets. Somehow, I'm still the bad guy in this. We're coming You're off a tad bit crazy right now. Her. Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? Why are you so creepy? <laughs> it's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Oh, look at their little, their little so plows. Really do have the smallest apartment. Their little, the their little plows. That's how you make them. You're going to make a problem out of this. What are you doing here? We don't need to bring. Listen to their conversation. Hmm. Talk about living in a past. <laughs> for real. And then you run and call him again. Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our Big own. Big V. We to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Oh. Thanks for letting us finish You're our welcome. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? <laughs> no, really, I want to know. Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man i didn't know what else to do so we should deal with this on our own bigby's just going to complicate i things. called him here and i want to see if he can help us out why are you being like this i'm just trying to do what's best for us i'd like to help you but i can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on mm -hmm. i gotta know one thing first what if we did have something to say about the crooked man what if we talk, and you don't get him, and all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man, and 
and I don't know if it's worth it. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the crooked man off the street. You don't want to be next. Mm -hmm. If you'd rather deal with this on your own. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. Seriously. So much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Don't answer it, Big B. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Fabulous! Uh, let me just, uh, <laughs> A day at the beach? Skiing afloat? Hey, we're not done here. <laughs> and we can't I should... come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call oh again and hear that my. fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. What the hell did you get yourselves into? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Oh. My. Goodness. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Oh. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money... Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. <laughs> but never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. That fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off. <laughs> Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? Mm. It's the what place on it? Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You're telling me that with a place like this, you're so hard up that you need to work for the crooked man? The guy you're so afraid of? Bullshit. It's not like he runs the counter and hands me the boxes. I never met the guy. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. So you do their dirty work, and look the other way. Work is work. All I do is deliver stuff. You don't even know what you deliver. I just wanted to provide for Beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't mm -hmm. understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. 
It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. Which obviously has not been safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Who? I think we are going to go to the butcher shop. And why, you may ask? Because I'm looking at their faces. And I definitely see the... I'm looking at their faces, and this is how I look at it. If we went directly to the pawn shop, I feel like we'd put ourselves in a lot of danger. But if we go to, per se, the candle shop, whatever it is, I don't even know, kind of looks a little less suspicious because we're going somewhere where they sell stuff, even though the pawn shop, you kind of sell stuff. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I am definitely going to go with the butcher's shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. And maybe if we find out what he's hiding. Once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the lucky pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. My thing is, if we can find out what he's hiding in there, we can maybe hold that against him. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. Uh, we just, okay. We know that the crooked man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Beast, you are so creepy. I do not like the way he looks. I just, I don't like Beast. Um. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, we are going to go to the butcher shop and see what's going on in there. Um, so, yeah, I love you all so much. Bye, guys.